Hello everyone, this is a video on why asbestos was used in gas mask filters because I did the video the other day where I said we now know that GP5 filters are confirmed to have asbestos in and it led to a lot of people I think to unnecessarily panic and people also to say things like um, why are you discriminating against Russian filters, lots of countries put asbestos in filters yes they did but um, the point I want to get to is why asbestos is used in filters and when it was generally stopped and the Soviet Union did put asbestos in after that. But one of the points I want to make, um, because people seem to come to this conclusion, why did they put asbestos in if they knew it could kill you? Um, lots of masks with asbestos in were made before they knew asbestos was dangerous or hadn't had much evidence that asbestos was dangerous. And they also, you know, went on the logic that if the gas mask saves your life in the time of a gas attack, if you get some sort of cancer 30, 40 years later from wearing it, you know, or have breathing difficulties later in life because you wore a mask at the time, that was a very small price to pay to not die horribly in a gas attack, which is very true. You know, given the option, I would wear a mask that has asbestos in the filter rather than inhale chlorine gas or mustard gas or something like that. So that makes perfect sense why they did it. But... The important thing to realise of asbestos is asbestos isn't um, a risk until it breaks down. Because how asbestos works is you um, have the sort of fibres from asbestos and it's once those are released into the air and you inhale them that they stick to your lung linings and dig in, causing health problems. If asbestos is simply sort of packed into something, it's absolutely fine. So we have a civilian duty respirator here on the left, British um, Army sort of civil defence mask from World War II. This wasn't the one the soldiers wore, they had Mark IV and V respirators and then like anti-gas respirators. But this is one sort of air raid wardens and firemen might have had. Um, and this is an asbestos filter here. However, when these masks were made at the time, the filters were all nice and intact. They were all woven together properly so the asbestos couldn't escape. So if you wore it, you wouldn't inhale asbestos. The asbestos worked as a filter. Asbestos fibres were very, very sort of tightly knit. And what this meant was that the asbestos could remove, act as a particulate filter, and remove lots and lots of the harmful gases that could have come through. So the asbestos would have saved your life, basically, if you had to use it. It's a very, very good material for that. They use fibreglass in a lot of modern filters to do the same thing asbestos did. And again if the filter broke down I wouldn't want to inhale fiberglass either you know it's the same sort of thing so asbestos was used simply because it did protect people but interestingly enough some of the first people to um, die of asbestos related diseases en masse were the people who made the gas masks in the factories because while it was safe to wear the gas masks at the time actually working in the factories and packing the asbestos in released a lot of fibres that people would be breathing in on a 9 to 5 shift you know, for working in the factory for a couple of years in a row. That's what led to them die of the asbestosis, not the actual, um, you know, casual use of wearing a gas mask. So people seem to me, I know lots of people have worn filters like this and they've been fine. Yeah, I'm not trying to say that if you've worn one of these filters you're going to get asbestosis or any kind of lung cancer. What I'm saying is it's now an unne unnecessary risk to use these filters on a mask. When the Soviet Union made them, the filters would have been nice and intact. Over time, filters break down. If you had a GP5 issued to you, or another mask of an asbestos filter, and you were gassed, the asbestos filter at the time would have worked perfectly and saved you. You know, it's still much better to have an asbestos filter if it's recently made than having a filter at all in the gas attack. That's why they used it. It was an efficient material and cheap. However, like I said, we now know it's not safe. And as we're doing this as collectors and not needing this in a survival scenario, you can get lots of modern 40mm filters if you want to wear a mask as a, a collector. You know, you can either wear it with a new filter, or you can have it on display with the old filter. If you were to wear a mask to protect you, you'd want a new filter on it anyway. You wouldn't want to rely on 30, 40 year old filters to do that. So, you could get like a modern Israeli filter put on, no asbestos in it, it hasn't started to break down, so it's not harmful. So, a point I'm also trying to make is, regardless of what was put in filters, it's generally not a good idea to wear old filters. I have some old filters that, as far as I know, don't have asbestos in, but they're old enough that I wouldn't ever want to breathe through them. 
Uh, a good rule of thumb I'd say of um, gas mask filters is only wear them when you know what's actually in them. So go for something like Israeli filters, modern NATO filters, you know, the, you know to have made to a good standard, or the very modern Russian filters with um, the plastic cases that have the proper markings on against what they protect you from. These filters were good enough when they were made, they're not brand new now, so there's a risk they can start breaking down. I've got a couple of these GP5 filters where you can see the charcoal leaking through here. Not in this one, but on some of them it is. So if the charcoal's leaking through, I wouldn't breathe through it. You could, no, other stuff could be leaking out. So regardless of the filter, if it's starting to break down, it's not a good idea to breathe through it. Just because even if you don't inhale asbestos, you are going to inhale other hazardous materials. But yeah, just to sum it up, why was asbestos used in filters? Because it worked. It would save your life if you needed it. At the time, people didn't know it was dangerous. You know, this is where I have questions about Russia was probably in the Soviet Union was still making these filters when they knew asbestos was dangerous, but then they were using the logic of it was cheap and we could save people's lives. The counter to that is Russia was the uh, or the Soviet Union was the only country to issue gas masks to its entire civilian population had they needed it or had almost made enough masks to issue it to its entire population. Britain and America during the Cold War considered, you know, your survival odds weren't good enough and it was wasted money to produce gas masks for civilians, so they didn't do it. So in that sense, the Soviets were uh, much nicer to their own citizens in the sense that they actually made masks for them. Asbestos in the filter aside, you know, in a gas attack, they were much, much better prepared. So, as I said, asbestos was used in these filters simply because at most of the time they were built, it was thought to be safe, and it was um, generally, you know, quite a good material to use, cheap, and it worked. It's only now that the filters have started to break down that they're dangerous, and that we know all the risks around asbestos. So if you have an old World War II mask, an old Russian mask, if you can't take the filters off of them, don't wear them. If you can take the filters off and it's safe to do so with, like, GP5 40mm filters, take them off. Put a new NATO filter on, you know it's safe, new production year, nothing harmful with the filter, and there you go. Um, you've got a working mask, and it's got a safe filter on to use. And for ones like this, just keep them somewhere safe in storage, and you can appreciate looking at the masks, but just whatever you do, don't wear it.